In this example, we're going to start our process control loop just by adding in some simple variables. The variables that I'd like to create are a set point, a start, a stop, an indicator light for when it's on and off, and a temperature. So instead of dropping all of our coils in, it's kind of nice to be able to define our variables beforehand. So let's create a start, and we can just create a colon and we'll call this a bool and then put a semicolon. That should define that variable. Let's do the same with a stop. Now we have two Boolean variables that are going to be contacts. I'm also going to create an indicator light and that's going to be a bool as well. We want some sort of uh, reading from this project so we're going to use a temperature variable and I'm just going to call it temp and that's actually going to be an integer so we need a number. The last thing that we want is some sort of input from the human or the user and we'll call that our set point and that will also be an integer. Once you have all your variables listed, we can start adding our ladder logic elements. So let's start with a contact. We want this contact to be start, so now we can include it within our variables. We also want a coil, but before we do that, let's add a stop button. That's going to be a negated contact. So we'll place that next. Now we can select our stop. Now we should be able to put in a coil at the end of our run. Let's call this our indicator light for now. Now when we press start, our indicator light should go on or our coil should be energized. If we press stop, it should break that. In order to keep this going in our start stop function, we need to add a parallel contact. So we can click right here at the beginning, this rung, and go up to our menu here where it says insert contact parallel below. Now we can add in our indicator light here. So once we're started, our indicator light will keep our flow of energy. That's our basic start stop function in code assist. Let's test it. We'll turn on simulation and we'll log in. I'm going to prepare a true value for the start. I'll go to my debug start and I'm going to write values. My indicator light is on and I can now turn off my start button and my indicator light is still energized. That allows me to use a regular push button for my start. If I need to stop, I can push my stop in, write values, and that breaks the rung. Everything is working accordingly.